Well, now, really, when we go back then to falling in love and say it's crazy, falling, you see, we don't say rising into love. There is in it the idea of the fall. It was just meant to be, I guess. We've been together for eight years now, and here we are. It is, goes back, as a matter of fact, to extremely fundamental things. That there is always a curious tie at some point between the fall and the creation. Taking this ghastly risk is the condition of there being life. You know, it's hard to say when I actually knew she was the one. You know, I met her in high school. We were in an art class together, and I always go over and ask her for her paint when we were working on stuff. You see, for all, the life is an, an act of faith and an act of gamble. He, the moment you take a step, you do so on an act of faith because you don't really know that the floor is not going to give under your feet. First time he did ask me to, he went, we went to a track meet together. His sister's track meet. She was pole vaulting, and it was exciting. We didn't actually watch the track meet. We just sat in the grass, but it was just still really fun. The moment you take a journey, what an act of faith! The moment you enter into any kind of human undertaking and relationship, what an act of faith! The, you've given yourself up. But this is the most powerful thing that can be done. Surrender, see? And love is an act of surrender to another person. I don't know, I mean, for me to like explain what Rowland means to me is kind of hard because he, he means a lot to me. He's a, big part of my life and I don't know where I would be without him you know we've been together such a long time it's home I don't know I don't know how else we describe it total abandonment I give myself to you take me do anything you like with me see? For as much as Rollin and Kimberly have consented together in the holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before in God this company and hereto have given and pledged their love to each other, let me present to you Mr. and Mrs. Rollin Saul. I wasn't one of those little girls who like pictured their wedding and like always knew what was going to happen. I didn't do any of that. So when I started planning this, it was like jumping in the deep end. Actually, therefore, the, the, the course of wisdom, what is really sensible, uh, is to let go, uh, is to commit oneself, to give oneself up, and that's quite mad. So we come to the strange conclusion that in madness lies sanity. 